Hello and welcome to episode one of How Do I UV That, where I show how to UV models sent by subscribers. So I got this model sent to me uh, by one of my subscribers. So I opened it up and let's go ahead and look at the UVs so that we can you know, get an idea of how to UV this thing. Uh, so it's uh, it's made up a bunch of pieces, um, which is fine. And let's look at the UVs. Okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks like these three pieces are using the uh, same UV space, which is, you know, that's pretty cool. It's good. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. These are not using the same UVs. Okay. Uh, my recommendation would probably be to have. Um, pieces that look alike share the same UV space so in this case I will have these two pieces use the same UV space same with these and honestly probably all I will have all of these sharing the same UV space unless you know uh, the purpose of this model is to get like super up close and you get to see like the differences between these pieces but if that's not the case what I would do is I would make sure that they they all share the same UV space um, possibly the same with the bricks, but that would depend on how you're you're planning on texturing it. So I want to spend less than 15 minutes on this video so that we don't get too um, we don't spend too much time on it. So let's see how far we can get. Okay, so let's start with the top piece and isolate it, and let's um, let's analyze it a little bit. I mean, this is a pretty simple shape, so it should be pretty should be relatively easy to UV and if I look at the existing UVs you know I'm not sure why you have them uh, all over the place I mean I'm assuming there's a there's a reason for that but but for the purpose of this video we want to make sure that we have them in the 0 to 1 space which basically means uh, this square right here so it's like the 0 to 1 that's one right here so we want to keep our things in there so first what I would do, oh, make sure you enable texture borders so that you can see in your model here where the UV cuts are. So as you can see, they go down here. So looking at this model and the UVs for the most part, they looked pretty good. What I would probably try is to maybe sew this here possibly it will depend on how much distortion we have which actually let's go ahead and take a look at so if you click on the checker box uh, you can see the distortion of your model so basically we want to make sure that this looks like a checker box on the model as well so it, I mean the ideal is to have them look as perfect as possible so they look like squares obviously here that's not the case we have really stretched uh uvs i guess Let's see here same here although it's not as bad on the inside and on the sides this could cause trouble um, so let's say you were to like sculpt a line you might see some distortion there depending on the size of your, of your texture as well uh, bear in mind that a lot of times you have to plan your UVs uh, depending on what size of texture you want to have. So let's say you want to have a 2048 texture which is a pretty big texture you probably wouldn't be as, uh, as critical of your UVs but if you are say making something that's going to be using a 256 texture you will absolutely be on your toes and making sure that the uh, UVs are as perfect as you can get them so that you can get nice uh, texturing on it, on your model. So the first thing we want to do with this is fix the distortion. Uh, what I usually like to do, to do and use, uh, let's go to UVs, let's double click, uh, so is that the inside? Okay, so that's the inside. So what I typically like to use, especially for organic models, I like to use the unfold tool so in my 2018 uh, you can either 
uh, and you have a bunch of options for unfold. Uh, typically, I just use the regular unfold tool. You can also access that from the modify unfold. Let's look at the options box. Um, typically, I use the legacy, but I don't think there's a problem with using the new unfold 3D. I think this looks fine so I'm just gonna use the one from here so click on that and that should for the most part help with the distortion let me rotate it so we can see this better so as you can see now if we compare uh, the UVs between the uh, the UV editor window which is showing you a 2d image of a checker pattern with our model it looks pretty darn good just by using the unfold tool so i'm not really seeing much distortion you might see it maybe in the edges but i think for the most part it's looking good and basically what i'll do is just do the same with the other side which also has that distortion so let's double click the uvs use the unfold tool and that gives us a much much better result as far as uh, stretching finally we can do the uh, see oh okay so this is oh, interesting uh, so it looks like we have overlapping UVs here Let's see. I'm gonna click here for shaded mode and as we can see this is one shell so this is that Hmm. Okay, let's let's try using the unfold tool just to see what it does. Okay, which I think it fixes it for the most part. And one thing, one thing we could try is to merge our UVs from here. So let's try that. So I'm going to move and sew edges and then that whole piece let's use the unfold okay let's see what that gives us we may get a little bit of distortion on the at the top um i mean it's not not bad I mean, it's, for the most part it looks pretty good i mean sure here we have a little bit of distortion but i think i think i think that's a good that's a good thing i think it's not bad that shouldn't give us too much too much of a problem. We could even potentially do the same with the interior so that we don't have more UV shells. Um, usually it's uh, better to have less UV shells than too many. Uh, for an object like this, which is pretty simple, we could probably get away with just having two UV shells. So let's try let's try the same with the interior here. I'm going to sew that. And let's use the unfold tool. Okay. Let me rotate it. So, as you can see here, I mean, it's pretty darn good. This this area right here is just a tiny bit stretched. But again, it depends on the size of your textures. So yeah, I would do it this way. I would leave. I would just have these two pieces. And we could even take it further, but I don't think we necessarily have to in this case. We can even sew it from the side a little bit. Do something like this, but oops. Let's see. Do something like this, but I don't think we have to. Let's, let's just see what we get here. We could take it to the next level and do that and have it so like that. So I mean, it will again. It really depends. There is no one size fits all for UV in. Uh, by the way, in the comment section, if you're wa if you're watching this video and you think you got a better way of UV in these things, please by all means. I don't think there's necessarily a a one. Uh, one size fits all for this. 
So I will, I will keep it this way or the other way where we have the two pieces. And obviously what I would do is copy the same UVs to the other um, pieces because they're, they're exactly the same. Actually, let me show you how to do that in case you don't know. So I'm going to select this guy first and then the other piece I believe is under... I think it's transfer attributes. Click on the options box. I'm going to copy my UV set. I believe components. Let's try that. Okay, cool. Yeah, so that, that does it. Let's do the same for the other pieces. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, it's because the uh, vertex, the vertex count is different. So this one's seventy-eight oh five. So that's seventy-eight twenty-one. So it's it's not gonna work if the vertex count is not identical. So you will probably just duplicate the model and place it where you want it. So that's that. That's that piece is pretty simple. Um, let's see what this piece looks like. Not bad as far as the UVs. I mean, we're not seeing too much distortion. Yeah, I think that works for the most part. I always just try to run the unfold just to see what we get. Oh, it looks like you probably used it already. So that looks, I think that looks good. Maybe I would probably rotate it and have it this way instead, sideways, and have the this piece share the same UV texture as these. I'm assuming right now these are using a different material. Same with these, I will have them share the same material. Let's look at these pieces. Uh, the UVs here, I think this is way too many pieces. I would, I would keep it simpler than this. So sometimes I just do what I just do to reset is click here and just give it a planar map, just to reset it. It doesn't matter what it looks like there. And what I do is, let's see, for something like this, I would probably, let's see. Usually I try to cut my UVs in the areas that are going to be the least visible. Just in case you have um, like an artifact on the on the seam or something that happens. Sometimes it happens when you have uh, low resolution textures. So in cases like those, you want to make sure you have uh, your seam in an area that's not going to be too noticeable. So I'm going to do it at the bottom. It's going to cut the UVs there. Oh, whoops. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Let's see. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. So, cut UVs. Now let's, let's try to run the unfold too. Let's see what we get. We get this. Okay, let's probably cut it a little bit more up to... Let's see there. Unfold it. I think this is much better. There is some distortion down here, in this area. So if we wanted to clean that up more, Probably have to make a cut right there. Oops. I'm not gonna sew these guys back up. And let's do a unfold. I'm gonna get two pieces this time. So that's there's that. I think. Distortion wise, I think it's much better now. And if we wanted to just make this into one absolute piece, we could probably just do that or some, something like that. Maybe here, I don't know. I typically like to keep it a, especially for organic uh, objects like these, keeping things and Not having too many seams 
UV seams. It's uh, better, I think, in my opinion. And I would just copy these UVs to all of these pieces. So using that same tool from before. Uh, where was that? Transfer. Same with these. And I just do it with everything basically, with all of these pieces. So that they share the same space. And I would probably have them share the same material as the, as the main uh, monster plant here. So I think the... Okay, we got to 16 minutes here. So I think the, that's as far as I'm going to get for now. Um, for the bricks, what I would recommend would be to probably make a chunk like this and use that all around. Probably a quarter. So maybe up to here. And then just duplicate it. Have those... Have these be, I guess, unique. But... Um, they have a lot of distortion here, so I'll probably redo the UVs for these. But yeah, that's as far as I'm going to get with this one. Um, I hope you liked the video, and if you want to see your model be UV mapped in one of these videos, uh, make sure you send your models to the link in the description. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching.